Hello humans, my name is Kenyo Overload, and this is a little update to my previous Quen Image Edit video. Now, if you remember correctly, in my last video, I showcased this new AI model called Quen Image Edit that allows you to edit an image using a simple prompt. So, like for example, let's say that I have an image of this woman and I want to change her hair color from brown to blue. Well, I could simply type in the prompt change the woman's hair color from brown to blue, and by clicking run, the model will then automatically change the color of the woman's hair from brown to blue which is really just incredible and it is really a super powerful model with very good LoRa's compatibilities and if you haven't watched this video you definitely should because it is really amazing so the link for that video will be in the description down below however if you already watched this video you might know that this model has unfortunately one big issue it is something that context also had and that is the fact that sometimes when you want to modify an image it will actually just change the entire image image by either just moving stuff around or just changing things that you don't want to change, which is something that could be really, really annoying if you just want to change a simple thing and leave the rest of the image the way it is, which is why I prepared a special workflow that allows you to do that by simply impeding the area that you want to change. And it is really super easy to use. Now the workflow is available on my Patreon, so just download it there, download it inside Config UI, then you can enable the workflow upload your image, then you can right click, click open in mask editor, then you're gonna draw your mask, click save, then you're gonna input your prompt, enable resize image or not, and then click run. And in the end we get something like this. And as you can see, if you actually compare it to the previous image, you can see that absolutely nothing moves. The only thing that changes is the area that you impeded before. Everything else stays the same. So like this is the previous Quen image agent method, as you can see, pretty much everything changes. And this is the new inpeting method, which works really, really well, as you can see right there. And really, like, everything stays the exact same. Like, every single strand of hair has been kept the exact same. The only thing that changes is the color of the hair. Simple as that. And the amount of things that you can do with it is absolutely insane. Like, for example, let's say I want to erase the entire woman and just keep the blurry background. I can see Simply just open the mask editor, select a huge thickness, paint all over the woman, right there, click save, and then in my prompt, I can just say remove the woman from the image, and now if I click run, and as you can see, this is what we get, like this is the before, and this is the after. As you can see, absolutely nothing moves, absolutely nothing changes, except the area that we impeded. Simple as that. And it is really just incredible. The amount of things that you can do with it is really insane. And not only that, you can also impede objects. So like for example, if once again, I clear the mask and I just impede this area, for example, and I click save, and if I just say something like add a small cute bird sitting on her shoulder, and if I now click run, and this is what we get. A really cool, really small, very cute bird sitting on her shoulder, and as you can see once again, absolutely nothing moves except the area that we impeded, and everything works perfectly fine, which is really just amazing. So basically what I just showed you is not a simple Quen image edit, it is basically an entire in-painting workflow. And it is probably the best in-painting model I have ever tried. It is really that good. And you can really do anything you want. I mean, this is really, really, really good. If I just like in-paint like part of her face, like something like this, very crudely, click save. And if I just add a thin pair of glasses and we get something like this, like once again, Nothing changes, absolutely everything stays the same, except that now she has a thin pair of glasses, perfectly in-painted over the original image. And it is really just insane. I mean, this is really that good. And you can, of course, either change an entire outfit by keeping the face the exact same, as well as the background and environment the same. So we go from there to this. Or you can also change everything else but the face. And for this, it's very simple. You're gonna go into Mask Editor, click Clear. Then you're gonna impaint over the face that you want to keep. Then you're gonna click Invert, click Save. Then you're gonna write your prompt and then click Run. And this is what we get. As you can see, everything else has changed. 
but the face. So yeah, this workflow is very, very versatile. It is really, really good. Although keep in mind that this workflow really works best with high quality, high resolution images. So if you want the best quality possible, try to avoid resizing images to a smaller resolution so that you get the best results possible. And uh, uh, of course, since LoRa's are also supported right now, let's just say that what we did right here by adding a coat, this is definitely something that you can do in reverse, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there you go. This workflow is really super powerful. It is basically a super impeding model, a super impeding workflow, because Quen Image Edit is basically a super powerful impeding model. And when you use the combination with this workflow and with LoRa's, I can tell you that really the sky is the limit. So yeah, there you go. As always, the workflow will be on my Patreon, so just download it there. Definitely try it out, let me know if you like it or not, and have some fun. Bye-bye.